overseas to the latest developments out of Egypt, where there is growing violence tonight, 48 hours after a military coup removed former Egyptian President Mohamed Morsi from power. The upheaval there has parents here keeping a close watch tonight, as we've learned that students from local colleges are currently in the country. Steve Shadaby, live in our newsroom, monitoring every development for us tonight. Steve. Yeah, just a few left over there right now, Leon. The situation changing quickly in Egypt with clashes between Mohamed Morsi's supporters and protesters with reports, according to Egyptian media, of up to 17 deaths today. Let's take a live look right now. We'll go right back to the square. Now, the conflict has been just a short distance away from the main square. Protesters hurling rocks and setting off fireworks with very little, if any, military or police presence right up until about one hour ago. Then they cleared out that area near the square. You can see the protesters, though, still going strong in Tahrir Square. All this happening as we learn more about a dozen students from local colleges who have been in Cairo this week. The uncertainty in Egypt continues with skirmishes escalating between Mohamed Morsi's supporters and opponents, many on a Cairo bridge not far from Tahrir Square. This is a number of Americans remain in Cairo, including several D.C.-based students. We spoke to her yesterday. I felt much, much better. Marasha Malik's daughter, Anam, was one of six George Washington University students studying in Egypt. Five students have already left. Anam is the only one who has decided to stay in Cairo to witness history, hoping for a future in international affairs. I thought that I could, you know, at least go and check out the protest, not by myself, of course. I would blend in, look like an Egyptian, and take a ton of Egyptian men, who, uh, guys who I really trusted with me. And so that's what I did, and I'm... I'm insanely glad I did it. Back in Virginia, Anam's mother closely monitors the developments, hoping Anam stays safe while respecting her daughter's wishes to learn more about the Middle East and Egypt in particular. He said, Mama, I'm fine. Don't worry about me. I'm very careful. I'm taking all the precautions, and we never go out alone. Six Georgetown graduate students are also in Egypt, choosing to stay, even though the university has offered to fly them back to D.C. While one American University graduate student was in Egypt on his own, he did ask to be evacuated. And some of those universities already making changes to their fall curriculum. American University students will not be going to Egypt in the fall. They'll go to Jordan instead. Georgetown has also suspended its study abroad program in Egypt this fall. Leon? All right, thank you, Steve.